Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, guys, I wanted to uh, talk about Stranahan's today. It's going to be my last review of the year uh, because tomorrow's already uh, New Year's Eve. So, uh, wanted to end on a on a high note, guys. So, wanted to talk about this. This was a gift from my uh, brother-in-law Bud and his uh, fiance, and uh, they know I love my whiskey. Um, you know, hopefully they're watching this one because uh, I really appreciate this. I uh, got this for Christmas. And um, it's uh, Stranahan's, I've heard great things about it. Uh, I had never had this before. Um, but I had some friends who, uh, I have some friends who lived in Colorado for a while. And uh, they told me great things about Stranahan's. Uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of whiskey. Um, this is 100% uh, malted barley. Uh, this whiskey here so it's uh different than your your typical bourbon or you know uh american whiskey um you know doesn't have any corn in it uh, doesn't have any rye in it uh it's just um 100 percent malted barley uh, but i think it also as far as grain goes but i think it also has uh, some yeast and um and uh, rocky mountain water so it's uh it's a straight colorado product i mean they um Everything is from um, from the Rockies, so uh, it's pretty neat. Um, and I really wanted to talk about this today, guys. Um, I haven't had it before, um, pretty much because it's, uh, it's it costs a little bit more than what I like to review on here. It's not quite a working man's whiskey. It's about fifty bucks a bottle. Um, but every now and then, guys, you get your hands on a bottle, um, whether it's a gift or. Um, whatever you know if if you get a chance to you know review something that you wouldn't normally get to review uh, why not you know and I love talking to you guys about the whiskeys that I get um, you know and uh, hopefully uh, if you can't afford them um, usually I can't afford them uh, but every once in a while you know it's uh, it's something nice to put on the list maybe save up a little money for and uh, you know spend a little bit of uh, extra cash but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep talking about working man's whiskeys. Um, I love, I love the, the bargains you can get out there. Um, $30 and under, that's why I, I created this channel. Uh, but, like I said, um, every now and then, uh, around the holidays, you know, it's, uh, people know me well and uh, as far as uh, family and, and friends. So, uh, they know what to get for me. And... Uh, I've been getting some pretty special whiskeys, so wanted to talk to you guys about this, uh, share it with you guys, and uh, here we are. So Stranahan's, guys, um, as I said, it's from Colorado. Uh, they use malted barley from Colorado, uh, uh, Rocky Mountain water, uh, to make this whiskey, and um, it's the brainchild. It's kind of, it's funny because it's a, it's a newer whiskey, uh, hasn't been around for that long, um, but uh, it still has a pretty cool story to it. So you guys might recognize, uh, you know, this has a little cup with it. You know, a little, uh, I don't know if it's a tin cup, but uh, you might recognize this look from tin cup whiskey. And um, it's because one of the guys responsible for this whiskey is also the, uh, the founder of tin cup, uh, Jess Graber. And... Um, the story with this one goes that Jess Graber, uh, he's a, I'm not sure if he still is or not, but he was a volunteer firefighter out in Colorado. And uh, one day his, uh, his neighbor down the road, um, his barn was on fire. So uh, Jess Graber, uh, being the volunteer firefighter that he was, um, went over to, uh, to assist. Um, I don't think they were able to save the barn, but um, his neighbor, a guy named uh, named George Stran, uh, sorry George Stranahan, um, yeah, they started talking and uh, found out that they had a mutual love for uh, uh, for brewing and uh, beer and uh, distilling whiskey and um, had a lot of the same interests. So uh, they ended up uh, hitting it off and creating this whiskey here. Stranahan. So this is the brainchild of uh, um, of uh, George Stranahan and uh, Jess Graber. So pretty uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, 
But we've reviewed Ten Cup on here. Um, I really like Ten Cup. I think it's a, a very good whiskey. Uh, it's different. It's unique, um, as is this one here. Uh, this one, as I said, 100% malted barley. So, you know, right off the bat, when I when I uh, read about that, I thought, okay, you know, maybe it uh, might have some things in, in common with uh, with Scotch a little bit. And, um, you know, I was right in assuming that. And I uh, want to talk to you guys about it. So... Take this off. This is a, I believe, a three ounce um, shot glass. You know, you can use it as a shot glass, but uh, gives you the perfect uh, three ounce uh, drink. They say so. Pretty cool. Open this up. All right, guys. So I'll tell you a little bit about what the uh, what the bottle says here. So, it's a first of all, it's a, I believe a ninety, yeah, ninety four proof. Um, 47% uh, ABV uh, whiskey here. Um, oh, and I wanted to tell you the distiller's name is uh, Rob Dietrich, and he's uh, he does some very good stuff, guys. Very good, um, um, very good uh, distiller. Uh, it says, this is Stranahan's Colorado whiskey. It comes straight from the Rocky Mountains and is aged for a minimum of two years under new charred oak barrels. It is non-show filtered and handmade in small batches. Uh, distilled and bottled by Stranahan's Colorado Whiskey, Denver, Colorado, USA. It says that uh, no two barrels are the same. Uh, this is barrel number 13-1933. Um, and that just tells you here on front again, it says, uh, well, it says the elevation, you know, 5,280 feet, uh, so mile high. And uh, barrel number, distiller. Um, it was bottled for... Uh, Says I think Brian Bowden says. So anyway, let's uh. Without further ado, let's check this out, guys. I'm talking a lot, so. Uh, look at the color. It's uh, I mean it's pretty light. You know, it's a nice uh, kind of gold color. Uh, maybe a little bit darker than that, but. The nose, guys. The nose is, it's a smooth, smooth nose, and definitely reminds you more of a. A scotch than it does um, you know an American whiskey because of the uh, malted barley but it's got a really really unique nose I don't think I've ever uh, reviewed something that smells quite like this but it definitely you know you get a lot of uh, a lot of vanilla um, some sweetness in there a little bit of uh, toffee um, there's almost like a roasted marshmallow type thing going on in there, guys. It's funny because there's no rye in here, but it definitely has a little bit of spice on the nose. And, uh, you know, it's it's got the uh, kind of honey notes in there. Um, maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit of the barrel in there, but not a whole lot. And... Um, yeah, just a it's a good, smooth, sweet, slightly spicy, uh, you know, nose. So uh, let's give it a taste. And it's got a very good very good taste there on the palate. It definitely reminds me more of a scotch than, you know, an American whiskey that I've had before. Um, but just, again, that sweetness. Um, you know, some uh, some honey notes in there. Definitely more of that uh, kind of roasted marshmallow. Um, I don't... I've heard people say that they uh, get a little bit of a fruity note in there. I'm not getting much of a fruity note, guys. Um, more of the uh, toffee and maybe a little bit of, um, just a little bit of like burnt sugar in there. And uh, good amount of maltiness. Definitely, I mean, 100% malted barley. So, I mean, it uh, goes without saying. Um, it's got a good amount of maltiness in there, and I really like that taste. Um, but it just... Uh, it's a good whiskey, very good whiskey. 
Um, you know, I'm I'm really happy they gave me a chance to to try this out um, because I would buy this again definitely. Um, and if they hadn't gotten this for me, I probably wouldn't have uh, spent the the fifty bucks on it just because I don't you know usually spend that much um, on a whiskey. I do every once in a while, but uh, usually with something that I already know I'm gonna love. So um, it's just a very good. I'd say definitely worth the money. I would definitely try it out if you uh, get a chance to, you know, have a little drink of it in a bar. But um, I don't know how available it is across the U.S. Um, you know, here, you know, it's it's in the, the main grocery stores. Um, it's in, uh, you know, Bevmo. I think Bevmo is probably across the country. Um, so you can find this in a lot of places. And it's really good. I I didn't even know before I uh, was doing research on it that uh, Jess Graber, who you know does Ten Cup, I didn't know he was one of the guys behind this too. I mean, I guess I should have known when I saw the uh, that it was from Colorado one and uh, two that you know had the uh, little uh, shot glass included there. So um, pretty pretty neat guys. And Jess Graber, he he's never disappointed. You know, I've uh, tried the Ten Cup. Uh, just the regular uh, tin cup whiskey. I think they have a, t a tin cup uh, ten year as well, which I would love to try out. And uh, now that I've tried this, it's like you know, it's serious. You know, Colorado's putting out some good whiskey. Jess Graber and uh, and George uh, Stranahan. So definitely, if you can find this, try it out. I'm gonna give this a rating. I'm gonna give it a high rating, guys, because. One, because it's very, very good. And two, the uniqueness is, I mean, I don't, you don't hear too many 100%, uh, you know, malted barley American whiskeys. So for the, uh, for the uniqueness and the taste, I'm giving this a 92 out of 100. Um, 92, it's just, it's smooth, you know, it's sweet, um, it's got that maltiness to it. It's uh, it tastes like a like a good Scotch whiskey, you know. And um, it's kind of uh, funny that it comes uh, from Colorado. But uh, you guys are doing great things. I know probably uh, Jess Graber and George Stranahan. I don't know if you're watching this or not, but you guys are doing awesome things. If you are, if you know them, tell them I said so, and uh, maybe they'll send me a, you know a bottle of something. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, really good stuff. Um, I want to talk about the next review I'm going to be doing. Uh, guys, I told you guys I wanted to uh, do a kind of a head-to-head -head competition whiskey review. Um, two bonded whiskeys that I really like. Um, just to see, you know, one's a little more expensive than the other. Um, so I wanted to kind of put them head-to-head -head and see what the better overall value was. Um, even though they're both terrific. Um, but wanted to do that, but the, one of the bonded whiskeys that, you know, I was planning on reviewing, um, they were completely sold out at, uh, at Bedmo, um, and they don't even have it at the bottle barn. So I wish I was surprised about because it was, it's from a, one of the top, um, uh, distilleries in the United States. So I was really surprised they didn't have it at either place, but, uh, because of that, and because I uh, I have a gift card for, or I had a gift card for uh, for Bedmo, um, which is always nice. Um, I was able to uh, kind of splurge a little bit on a bottle of something very special, um, something that definitely cost more than what I would usually spend. If I didn't have the gift card, I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have bought this stuff, um, even though I hear nothing but terrific uh, terrific reviews on it. But it's uh. It's going to be a good way to open up the new year, guys. Um, you know, and then after that, we'll uh, we'll go back to uh, reviewing um, some more working man's whiskeys. Uh, kind of change it up every now and then. You know, review something maybe a little more expensive every now and then. But I'm always keeping my eyes open for uh, for a good bargain, guys. And uh, the, I'll keep doing that, and hopefully you guys too. Thank you so much for watching these uh, these reviews, supporting me, and. Um, Looking forward to uh, bringing, in, bringing in the new year with you guys and uh, keeping this thing going for a while. So 
that's it for this one, guys. And uh, Happy New Year. Y'all be safe out there. Um, if you're going to drink, stay where you are or, or have a driver available who, uh, you know, who's going to keep you safe. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. Happy New Year. Until next time, cheers.